Hello students, welcome to the next lecture on the linear algebra. Today we will discuss about the range space or it is also called as the image space of the linear transformation from V to W. Myself Dr. Gar, working in the School of Mathematics Thapar Institute, India. So the objective of this lecture is to find the basis as well as the dimensions corresponding to the range space of the linear transformation. So firstly we will try to understand what is the range space. Say you have the two vector space V, U, V and W and the transformation is from here. This is the transformation from V to W. Then you can consider any of the element in the dom core domain that is V and you have to look about this image that is a T of V that is an image in the of the V and the collection of all those images is called as the range. For example, if you consider any of the mapping like of say this X x plus y and say y that is you have mapping from r2 to r3 so there are you can consider any of the elements say v is considered as 1 comma 2 then the corresponding element of this is my 1 3 2 so if this is present in here then you have to write here as a 1 3 2 similarly and many more are there say 2 4 9 and so on so if since this is the element which are present in corresponding to this can this element be present here for what value of this if you have to collection of all those elements, all those elements of the images, that is a T of V such that V belongs to them. So that element is called as the range of the T. And the collection of all those elements, whatever the collection is there, that is called as the dimension of this range. How we can find that? There are the basically two kinds of the category. First one is that you have to formulate the linear transformation whose image is given as a spam. Otherwise, is linear transformation is given to you, you have to find the basis like of here. So see, you have to find the linear transformation while the images is spanned by given. While in the second case, you have to find the range space where the transformation is already given to you. First of all, the range of the T forms a subspace of the vector space of the W. Remember that because we are working on here. So that's the definition of the range space. That is a collection of all those W's in the in the uh, range of this and you have to show is a subspace how you can prove that that is a, if you take the two elements from here then I can take the two elements from this and you have to show that linear combination is also in that so what will happen if w1 and w2 belongs to this it means there exist a v1 and v2 from here such that w1 is nothing but here and w2 is it. now we can take the two scalars since v1 and v2 belongs to the v alpha and beta as a scalar so it means this is the vector space so closure property holds now we can start from here so that is a t of v so any element of here so i can open this what is the value of this this is nothing but my w1 this is nothing but my w2 so since w1 and w2 both belongs to the r so the this is a scalar so it also belongs to the this one hence it is a subspace now how you can form a linear transformation whose range is spanned by here. Now you have to look firstly from this, this is my domain. What is the, uh, what is the basis of this R cube that is here? It means that is uh, this I identity R generate R cube. So now this is your R3, you have to map over the R4. So you have to take any of the element from here and you have to map over this. So since these are the basis, so what is the meaning of that? It means the transformation will generate the range of here. But the, my task is it is not given to you. But it is given that this is my R cube, this is R4. It means this element must be present in here. And this element 2, 0, minus 1, minus 3 is also be there. So I have to take uh, these three. So I can take two of them as here. So I can consider this map as to be here this map as to be here or you can consider this as to be mapping here now my task is to find this third value of this so since it is not given to you so you can choose any one of them so since identity element must be there so i can consider this value as a zero now once it is formed here now it's a basis so it will we can write any elements of the r cube that is here we can write here take the transformation on the both side we can write like here what is the value of this this value is here what is the value of this is here this value is my zero so i can substitute here this now you can add the first component that is x plus 2y 
second component and the third component you will get this as a required transformation also you can easily verify that once you will take 100 you will get this answer once you will take 010 you will get this answer look at the one more examples according to the same pattern again this is the r cube so you have to take the standard basis of the r cube as here now in this case you have to take from r cube to r cube here so you have to take any element of this then the mapping of here so v is the element of the r cube that is the basis of this so i can say this are the here now it is given to you that they are spanned by here so i can consider this value as of here this value as of this and the third element as a zero now we can write any of the elements of the r cube like this way take the transformation on the both side i can substitute this value as here this value as here now once you will open this bracket you will get the required linear transformation look at the second case when you have the transformation is given to you you have to find the range spaces how you can do that again we will do the same way since it is the domain is r cube so we can start from here this one in this case it is my r cube you have to go from r cube again any of the element from here will map over this so since these are the my basis so i can say the transformation will generate this one so what is the value of this t100 now from here it is a 1 it's a 0 it's a 1 because once you substitute x is 1 y is 0 z is 0 you will get this is the transformation corresponding to this and this now how you can find the basis of here so you have to construct the matrix a such that the first row this is the second now your target is to convert into the row reduce form or you can convert into the row reduce eclan form how you can convert them into the row eclan form your target is to make them this value as a zero so how you make them you can simply take r2 as a two, twice of r1 and you can take r3 as r3 plus r1 once you will make this here now your target is to make this value as a zero you can simply r3 minus r2 you will get here now which is eclan form which is uh, nothing but my eclan form are there so how you can find the basis of this so the f the non zero rows are my basis so this is my non zero row look at that this is the 1 0 and 0 1 minus 1 are my basis how many elements are there this is the vector 1 this is the v1 this is the vector 2 so that's why that dimension is my 2 look at one more example again the transformation is given to you you have to here now here the basis are my r2 so you can start from the standard basis now take the transformation on this Now what is the value of the t one comma zero? This is a one, this is one, and this is zero, and so on. Now you have to convert into the matrix, convert them into the echelon form. So your target is to make them as a zero. It is already there, so it is already echelon form are there. It is already echelon form. So the first row and the second row it form a basis of this. So the dimension is my two. So this is the way you can find the range space and its dimension. we will see in our next class how you can find the kernel of the linear transformation till then you can simply follow this link for finding the various videos best of luck students happy learning